Hey YouTubes, coming at you today. It's Pete Morbacher again. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about masking in Photoshop. Um, masking is one of those things that you don't really realize that you need until you know about it. Um, so I'm going to spread to word, the word to all you guys that haven't heard of it yet. Uh, it's an incredibly useful thing and it's really simple even though it sounds like sort of a pro tool thing. Um, basically, it's just a uh, a, a tool that allows you to hide areas of a layer, you know, for various reasons. In this case, I'm going to show you how to uh, make this something like this halo look like it's overlapping with the figure here, and uh, this is going to be real easy um, to create a, a, a layer mask. Uh, all you have to do is hit the the new layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers tab here, and you get your nice little clipping sub mask. Um, this is a black and white layer where black is hiding the main layer and white is revealing it. So you can just select it by clicking on it here and then we can paint in black or white. Now, rather than going in this all willy-nilly, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the character by control clicking on its layer here and um, that way we'll make sure that we're only erasing you know, the part where the character is overlapping. And you can see as I paint in black, what I'm doing, what, what it's doing is it's essentially working like the eraser tool. But the major difference is the fact that if I go back in and paint white, I am going to start revealing that layer again and it's going to come back. This is uh, the reason why you're going to want to use a mask most of the time uh, instead of using the eraser tool for a similar purpose because it is a pain to be able to get um, the eraser to uh, to get in precise areas and always get it right on the first pass. You know, oftentimes you're going to be going back and forth with the mask to get it just right. And um, yeah, so that's a layer mask. We've got this other thing called a clippy mask that I'm using here. Um, I use this all the time for texture overlays, and I think I've already mentioned it in my uh, texture overlay tutorial. But um, Basically, uh, what it allows you to do is contain one, you know, the uh, the clipping of one layer um, by uh, by by sort of nesting it inside another one. And the way you do that is just by hitting uh, Control G, or if you're in Photoshop CS2 or later, Control Alt G. And it's going to sort of uh, jog this layer over here. This means that now we, uh, whenever we apply any sort of texture or painting, it's going to stay inside of our base layer here. In this case, it's our character. Uh, this is really useful for applying things like um, applying things like tattoos, like, uh, you know, if you want to like add on something that you, you don't want it to be, um, you don't want to commit to the main layer, you want to keep it separate, but you want to keep it you know, inside that same figure, this works really well for that. Uh, something similar would be like, you know, if you have a, a really soft light against the edge of something, rather than trying to be super precise about it, you know, you just lay it in there real soft and it stays in there because, you know, it's got its clipping mask applied to it. Um, and you can make as many of these as you want to. You can make a big old stack of them um, and you can have it do all sorts of fun effects. Um, you know, we, we can, the sky's the limit with this sort of thing. As long as, you know, you're going to come up with new applications for yourself all the time. Uh, so just play around with it a lot. And uh, the great thing is we can actually apply both different types of masks to a single layer. Like in this case, we can add a layer mask onto here, and then we can, um, we can start to, uh, you know, we can remove out portions of that. Um, of the layer and just, you know, really dig into it, play around with it. Um, you can create some really fun effects and uh, the reason you're going to want to use something like this is it's just going to make your life a whole lot easier. It doesn't do anything that's really flashy, it doesn't leave any really uh, uh, noticeable tool marks, but it's just going to make, you know, your whole workflow a lot simpler if you, uh, if you can, uh, you know, figure out applications for it. So I hope this was educational. I know I talk fast, but uh, you know, thanks for checking out uh, these tutorials. You know, I always have fun doing them. 
I love uh, seeing all the comments from you guys on my YouTube account and on my DA. So check that out. Um, more coming soon. Bye.